everybody, Nick from the ArcadeHunters.com welcome to the Dave and Busters here in New York, New York. Town's a nice name of choice. We are checking out a very special location test, Pokémon Tournament from Bandai Namco Games. Check this out, they're even giving away a full color instruction manual on how to play the game. Completely in Japanese, but it's very easy to play. I already got a uh, video, so you're going to hear me uh, talking about the game without um, talking over it. So, pretty simple on uh, how to play. Um, if any of you guys have ever had the uh, chance to play the the, uh, the Gundam Fighter the fighting game from Bandai Namco, you pretty much uh, know what to expect with this game. Um, select the Pokemon, you also select from two helper Pokemon that come out. So, uh, you have um, some like uh, Eevee will have a move like Helping Hand that'll give you some power ups and stuff like that. As you can see, the controller over there, you've been really using uh, more of a Nintendo uh, classic controller. So, you use B to jump, A for your special attacks, Y for regular, and the, um, the other one is strong attacks. And then it also says over here, Y and B grab, X and A counter, and the L and R on the top be your synergy burst. So right there on the left-hand side, both ladies and gentlemen have the ability to use their uh, synergy burst, and that'll turn um, Charizard and Charizard X, and we got Blaziken turned on. Really fun. So only had a only had a little bit of time with this game. Can obviously tell you Pikachu is definitely way too strong. The little guy is just super duper fast. And it's just very hard to catch it. It does really, really good damage. I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, I use Weevil and Gengar as well, and also um, Charizard. We also have um, Tekken 7 is over here, a location test of Tekken 7. Very surprised they let you play as Lucky Chloe in the game. So, apologies if the. Um, says your sets. I stick with the C set, that seems like what everybody else has been using. Well, it'll be very interesting to see the, um, does not have the new uh, character that they announced, which um, is being called Pikachu Libre, which is uh, Pikachu with the mask on, where he's like a, um, a luchador wrestler, so it's going to be interesting to see how he plays. No idea who else is uh, going to be announced. If you're Lucario, of course, so. I believe Gengar is one of my favorites uh, from the original. Or how they do. Oh, like I, can't I can never pronounce Susie. I can never pronounce, pronounce that character's name. I'm, I'm a grass user in Pokemon, so I'd like to see uh, Ivasaur in it. I doubt that'll happen. Frog of Deer. Nice. Right now, it's arcade exclusive. Right now, for the uh, time being, it's here exclusive at Dave & Buster's, and it's also at Round 1 on um, Southern California, so they got the... Uh, I'm not sure how many units uh, they have in at uh, Round 1, but I can probably tell you that it's going to be just like here, which is going to be very crowded, but thankfully there's not that many people here since it's early in the day. We got it going. Yeah. Apologies, I am using my call. Dave Buster does not like the recording. Marketeer. Walking up. separate video of just the, uh, the instruction booklet that they gave out. Nice. He's still alive. He's still kicking. Now I have no idea how long um, this location test is going to be lasting. We're on uh, 
month. A month. A month. Uh, for a month, thank you. And then they send it back to Japan and then yeah. bring it back for another month. Very nice. So there you have it. So you're here, it'll be here for hopefully the month of October. So you'll be able to check it out and then they're gonna send it back, probably add in some more characters and do some more testing, which is very good. Glad to see that they you know, not only still making arcade games, but yes, they're doing location testing, getting it out in the player's hands. So we get to check it out, see what it needs. Probably, I would definitely think if Pikachu is going to uh, gonna get a nerf, he's really, really fast. It's absolutely insane watching him play against some of the other characters. Like, a character like the Champ gets uh, pretty manhandled by a uh, little Pikachu. It's pretty funny. So definitely, when they come back, uh, they end up doing the location test again with new characters. Definitely uh, come check it out. There you go, that's one natural Pokemon for I took another without me talking so you guys can just enjoy it. There you go, check it out at Demon Buses here in New York City. Again, I'm Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Enjoy this extra match video of Pokemon. Watching this, you successfully made it to the end of the video, and uh, if you want to click off, I don't mind. But I wanted to show you really quick, uh, that's a photo of the controller. Oh. But this is what I wanted to show off. This is a full-color brochure. It's this official guide for field test that they uh, released. Now, for you guys that got to play it out in um, play the game out in Southern California, let me know if you guys um, got, got these two. You pretty much went up to the front desk. And he said, excuse me, could I get uh, the brochure for Pokken? And they said, oh, absolutely. And the woman handed it to me. Very nice. So I guess they figured out maybe that this was a better thing to do since the, you know, it's still a prototype version of the game. You know, it's not completely finished yet. So it's still in Japanese. So, you know, this is all in English. So it actually tells you what to do. So it tells you about the new Ferrum, Ferrum battles. And uh, the new um, announcer or trainer's name is Nia. Or, she doesn't have a, uh, she's not, it's not named after a tree, so it's not a professor, so. It says how to begin, so it gives you all the stuff, the game modes. The one in the middle, I think, is like an internet ranking battle, and since, you know, on a location test, they were not connected for the internet, and it did not use the, um, the Bandai Nemco, um, battle cards that they have 
Um, the game's head-up display, it says about your, um, the synergy gauge, your support gauge for your support Pokemon. Um, the controls, like I said, it has a grab attack, a counter attack, and the synergy and the burst moves, and it says, you know, first player to get two rounds, gets Vistra, and that's fighting game. Now, if you guys have had uh, the chance to play the PS3 um, Gundam Extreme games, I'd say that's a pretty good indicator how, how to play this game. You know, there's certain characters that are better in close, like uh, Sneedy and, of course, Machamp, who gets absolutely destroyed if he's uh, is fighting off against a ranged character. And I'm going to butcher the character's name, Susin. I can never pronounce that character's name. I have to... I should watch a video of how you actually pronounce the name and says how the... Um, the phases work and how to, uh, how to move. Sorry, the brochure got crumpled in my pocket. And then it says how to use the synergy burst with the burst attack. And then it says the attack triangle. And it says about how it's basically like, you know, rock, paper, scissors, just like a Pokemon game. So, you know, you can counter attack. You have your normal attacks. And also, you know, if you're blocking, you can grab just like any other fighting game, especially like Tekken. So, you've also got your support Pokemon, so it tells you all the different support Pokemon, how they work. So, they have regular, um, like, characters like Fen- like, uh, crap, I forgot its name. I'm bad, but, like, Eevee has a helping hand that I ended up using, and, um, like, uh, Frog Frogadier has, uh, has, like, little water shurikens that, sh that he throws out. Which I'm kind of surprised, um, Greninja's not- in this game, yeah, I'm very surprised. Now it talks about the phase shifts, poke combos, and I'm probably pretty sure someone's gonna have this already, you know, scanned and put online, even though it tells it, it says Amulga Fennekin, that's the name, Fennekin. He's so cute. He's a little evil bastard, he gets in there and he slashes up, so here's the, um, for Weevil, I'm gonna have Lucario, Pikachu was insanely friggin' fast, little guy. Machamp was really slow, but, you know, it's a power character, so they wanted you to get up close. With... He did get actually get up close to you. It was pretty insane. Uh, Gravivore, Weevil, and... Charizard, Kinamp, and, yes, Gengar was in it. Gengar has the, um, the shadow drop where he pretty much, uh... The whole screen goes black, and you're sucked into a void of his mouth, and he sucks you up, and he turns into uh, Mega Gengar. Really cool. And then it has Yamolga, like, uh, he'll fly out and like a flying squirrel and have the, has electrical attacks. So Snivy has Leaf Tornado, Frogadier has Water Pulse, Eevee has Helping Hand, and Lapras with Surf, and Fennekin with Disrupt. Something tells me, like, when this comes out on console, you'll be able to choose either one of the two, uh, Pokemons, because it was, like, it was basically, you had A, which were these two, B, and then C. Pretty much everybody uses C, because, um, having Eevee to give you a helping hand, um, to, and finally they gave you a memo pad, which kind of reminds me of all the old things, and finally you got your, um, the sites that you can, um, go to. Now, what was also really cool was they were also doing a uh, location test for Tekken 7. And uh, you could tell it was a location test because, oh my god, the friggin' game had so much delay on it. It was so weird. Um, the, the game took for I shouldn't say delay. Uh, you know, it played fine and played like a Tekken game. It uh, had, had um, the load times on it. I swear to god, I was loading up... Uh, the second round, and I thought the game froze on me. I was ready to get up and call an attendant, but I finally went back. And one of the things that I noticed, and I don't know if um, Harada is actually sticking to his word, but Lo Lucky Chloe was playable in the game. And, you know, I know a lot of people, oh, I don't like the anime, the weeaboo costumes. You know what, kids? I don't care about the costumes. I care about the characters' fun. And guess what? I didn't think she was that fun. She was kind of, kind of bland. She had, like, some, you know, little kick moves where she would jump and flop around and stuff like that. And didn't really care for her. There's some other new character. Like, it, it I thought it was Gygus. It, I guess it's basically, uh, they got rid of Kuma and stuff like that. So it's just, like, this big red naked dude and with, like, uh, with machines all hooked up to him. Like, he just escaped out of a lab. And... 
I guess Bob finally succumbed to heart disease because I don't even think he's in the game, unfortunately. Which, you know, he was. I had a lot of fun using Bob in Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag Tournament 2. So, right there, folks, that is a look at the very first North American location test for Pokken Tournament. Um, like that guy said, if it does come back for another round with more characters, I'm definitely going to go check it out and get another video for you. So... Once again, this is Nick from the ArcadeHunters.com. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll have more arcade and pinball videos for you very soon. Talk to you later.